reefs. There is an important connection between the shallow reefs and, and mesophotic reefs, although these are connections that are, are still only starting to reveal themselves to scientists because it requires us to, to understand better these mesophotic reefs and then to understand them in connection with the shallower reefs. Bonaire has one of the earliest uh, marine parks uh, in the world and certainly in the Caribbean. In this project, we're focusing on exploring this previously largely untapped area of the twilight zone of the coral reef environment, one that is inherently difficult to get through for, from diving. And that's where our autonomous underwater vehicles, our AUV robots, really allow us that unprecedented access because they can go down deeper, stay down longer, and explore more of that area more efficiently and more safely than we could from a traditional diver base. And we know that deeper mesophotic reefs can provide a safe haven for species, be they corals themselves or the fish species, and those deeper reefs can provide then a seed area for some of the shallower reefs to recover. But, but those kind of connections are, we know are really complex and we're only just beginning to start to piece and tease those out. And, and work like this helps us to find those hotspot areas where we can start to identify those connections. We have all of these metrics that we have of the seafloor. I know the bathymetry in great detail. I know the slope, uh, so I know where it's tilted very steeply, where it's flat. I know this measure that's really important in reef systems called rugosity, and that's, that's the measure of how irregular or how much of a departure from a flat surface a reef is. We wanted some way to sort of bring all these together. That's gonna to give us kind of that heat map that says, this is a likely area we're gonna have, find a high diversity index. And it allows us to downplay other areas that are unlikely to support a real thriving system. Lots of mapping efforts are going on in places around the world, and now people can apply that same synthetic index approach that we have and maybe come up with target areas because we know so many of our other mesophotic reef areas haven't been looked at at all.